Did our gracious Majesty the Queen have cold shouldered Harry and Meghan at that recent Thanksgiving service? That is one of the big burning questions coming out of London right now. And as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Blistering day today. Nice to see you all. Now listen, let's all have a big wave. We haven't had one of those for a while, have we? Lots of brand new people joining as part of our wonderful family, our community. Do make them all welcome. It's lovely to have you on board. And as ever, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we are, as I say, a friendly community. We don't like infighting or, you know, falling out with each other. There's enough of that in the world, isn't there, don't you think? I like to think of it here as a, a place where you can come, have a bit of lively debate, get some news, get some information, maybe forget your troubles for five minutes, you know, or maybe I'm the cause of your troubles. <laughs> Who knows? Back as ever though, on a serious note to your breaking roll story of the day, this particular story on this very windy London day uh, is rather concerning in fact, because as we now know, Harry and Meghan just over a week ago returned back here to the British Isles after a long time away. Well, for Meghan Markle anyway, you know, it was a big return. And as I said before, I thought she looked very beautiful uh, in that Dior doings or whatever it was called, you know, uh, very movie starish, whichever way you look at it, girls, she put on a wonderful look. Uh, but of course, there were lots of stories which we've told you weren't necessarily true about the arrivals and, you know, not getting on the bus and all that sort of stuff. You know, these people that really just want to put in their own two penneth, as we say, in the north. It simply wasn't true. There was a car provided and there was a car arranged to take them away. And I believe, according to that good source, it was graciously organised uh, by Her Majesty the Queen. I mean, you know, if you look at the seating arrangements, yes, they were all cleared and agreed by Her Majesty the Queen. But according to a very good source, and as ever, you know, it's an interesting debate this, because when you think about it, you know, Harry and Meghan really were snobbed. There's no two ways to put about it, you know. People didn't seem to reach out or want to make eye contact, meet or in fact embrace them. And I think this particularly hurt Prince Harry really more than Meghan. After all, she barely knows these people, you know. I mean, uh, senior members of the British monarchy are not that close to her because they didn't really get time to know her. I mean, people are making comments about Sophie Wessex giving her the eye. But, you know, she wasn't that close to Sophie. They didn't know each other. Neither did Prince Edward. But what's interesting to note is it's emerging now coming out of the US is this. Meghan and Harry apparently feel, or you know, this is the deal, that would of course these people have been so, shall we say, disingenuous and unfriendly had our gracious Majesty the Queen attended that Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral just over a week ago. And it's an interesting debate really, isn't it? Because as we know, Prince Charles, Prince William were there to of course represent our gracious Queen on a very busy day. She had to pull out because she uh, didn't feel particularly well. Some people are saying that was an obvious thing to do, to leave the family to get on with it. I think she possibly may have hoped that some reconciliation could have taken place. But now Harry and Meghan have been talking to their, shall we say, close people and were quite vocal actually. Uh, <laughs> we have to be careful what we say here, but quite vocal at uh, Frogmore Cottage about, you know, the way it all panned out because according to them, they were just bemused as to why, you know, first of all, they wanted to come. They kept a low key approach to it all. And you have to say that apart from the window winding down with their security, then, you know, realistically, it wasn't too bad, but then really nobody made much effort. Now, the counteractor side is that is, well, look at what you've done over the last two years. And we've said many times here on the show, why would people make efforts? But on the other side as well, they've thrown uh, miles and miles across, <laughs> you know, the Atlantic Ocean to come here. And perhaps they felt that things would have been different. Of course, it wasn't until the day before that Her Majesty the Queen announced that she was unable to attend this service. And I really do believe, and you know, there's a point to be had here, that things would have been radically different, particularly in the seating arrangements, had she attended. So perhaps Harry and Meghan do have a point, but really, do we honestly believe, given the behaviour that the ex royals have given over the last 18 months, two years, that things could have been that radically different even in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. According to Harry and Meghan, they believe so. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of a very, very warm London.